Yes, hi and welcome on Flyfish Fly Tying. Hey, today I would like to show you the deadly baitfish, which is the name, uh, which has the name mainly from the deadly diesel fiber, which I use here, and I also use a Steve Farrar um, fiber. So yeah, first of all, I use a Gamakatsu F314 hook in size four. And I use a Vivus yarn in white, which is GO230D. Yeah, do your ground winding. And uh, once you have done that, cut the end off here of the thread. Sorry, I have a little cold. So then use this white deadly diesel fiber and use not much, so just uh, just enough to, that you still have a feeling it's not enough material. So when you cut it off, so just um, taper it a little bit while yeah, with your fingers like I do here. And then you tie it in on the downside of the hook. So. You want to create a little tail here. Yeah, you see the uh, Vivus thread is pretty slippy, so I, I need to correct it here. Uh, next time I should tie it a little uh, with a little more strength on the hook. Yeah, then use the deadly diesel fiber in olive. So just, you see, just uh, not too much. So it's very nice material. It's a, it's a little stiff, but it's still nice playing. And it has this uh, flesh fibers in. I like that pretty much. So, okay, now you're done, cut the rest off. So now you take some dubbing. So I take hence ice dub in UV color 05. Just spin a little around your thread and uh, you just go over the um, the winding where you have tied in the tail. Then take another small bunch of uh, fibers from the deadly diesel olive for the back. Tie in the tip to the um, eye of the hook and then here you can see do the same with some white material probably i could have used the less here so i will taper later a little bit with my scissors which i could have avoided here if i would have taken a little less material anyway cut that off and then give it a little layer of the eye stop again and uh, make sure that you can pull them back on the up and the downside of the hook later so give it a little to hide your thread here. Okay. Pull that back and, and make sure that it is a little um, equally around both sides. And now I just give it some windings with my thread here and I correct it in between a little, as you see that really lays on top and on the downside of the hook shank. Once you have done your windings with the thread, so you see the material comes back a little bit, so and it, uh, yeah, it stays there. So what do you see here, I measure a little bit the wings length, and then I tie it in again, like I did with the tip to the eye, taper it, blah, blah. Um, you will see that several times here, cut the material off, make sure you do not cut off the material you already have tied in, then do the same with the white deadly diesel fiber. And by the way, I think you can use whatever you want. So there's many uh, materials you could use. Then hide your thread again with a dubbing. Yeah, I correct it in between a little bit, so just um, that they stand equally. You can um, protect them if you do your winding 
like this if you use some super glue on your thread so it probably yeah secures the, the fly itself a little more i don't do that um that much so i, I really have problems with the flies ripping off or whatever okay again some material so you can do that several times if you lose if you use less material even you can do that much more often if you like so which gives you a fly which is even more um, shaped into the highs um, like this so you see that's a very bulky fly from top to down but it's uh, really from the side it stays slim and also in the water if it, it pumps very nice so this is uh, one of the advantages of tying it that way you for example could also use uh, the farrar fibers um, for that or you could use buckle whatever so there's many materials you could use i i like this deadly dizzle stuff because it's really still flexible and I don't know, there's other fibers like bait fish fibers, blah, blah, blah. So you could do that with all of them, I think. Okay, and then once more. So here you see, I wanna have it a little more left and right of the hook. That's why I correct a little bit. Yeah, I always control a little the shape by, by pulling the fibers, but uh, you do not necessarily need to do that, but uh, that's like a tick of me. Yeah, so make sure they are separate a little bit. Cut it off. Some dubbing again, and by the way, you can brush off the dubbing too. I I do not do it here. Hide the thread again. Push everything back. Now do your winding to protect it from going forward again. I think that's um, a great pattern for imitating mullet, for example, or even those bigger shaped uh, bait fishes. Then I do coming to the head, so I give it a little of the UV dub and then I use ice dub UV hot pink here for some kind of the belly, which I, I always like to have some kind of a bait point. You could use red, whatever. I think pink is nice too. Okay, and then I take some Steve Farrar flash blend. I, to be honest, sorry, I don't know which color it is. It's um, some kind of light green. Hey, it's called olive too. I just give it because it's a little stiffer in the material than the deadly diesel fiber. And I um, I like it as a contrast in the back too. So yeah, you, here you see me tying it down. Anyway, you see it gives a very nice shape with the rest of the material. Then I do my two whip finishes, so two head knots to secure the head. Yeah, and then I use some um, stick on ice. So what I use is fish skull living ice in the color ice in six millimeter here. Yeah, here you see me trimming it a little bit. So as I said, I could have used a little less material. So then I would have avoided that. Anyway, you also can trim. So here you see the ice. And now I do not want to have a super fat head like sometimes. So I, I uh, want to shape the fly with the head. I, I want to have the fly staying in the shape. It is now that it pumps pretty nice in the water when you, see, when you strip it in. Okay, so <clears throat> secure the eyes with some um, UV resin. I use the thin resin here. 
because it goes nice into the fibers and secures the eyes a little better. Um, yeah, need a little correction. And then I, I really give it some more on the downside, but not much material. So and I, I really not use it to form a big head here. So I just uh, put something into the material, let it run into the material and um, cure it. And now I give it a, a last layer of some resin, but I do not want to go through the whole head and glue that because this probably destroys the shape of the fly. So because uh, yep, I really want to have it like this. Yeah. And the fly is ready. So thanks for all new subscriptions. If you liked my video, give me a like. If you don't like it, give me a dislike. And uh, I also always appreciate your comments. Appreciate your comments. Thank you very much for watching and have fun tying it and use all materials you have and colors and be creative. Bye bye. Ciao. Thanks for watching.